Hi again. Okay, so while we're on a kick of saving lives, let's talk about how to use Narcan. This is important because there's an opioid epidemic in the United States right now. I'm sure you've heard about it. But last year in 2023, there were over 80,000 deaths in the United States that could have been prevented due to opioids. Most commonly, it's fentanyl, but others as well, heroin or prescription pain medicines. Authorities currently recommend having Narcan on hand for anyone who has opioids, whether it is from a prescription or illicit drug use. No judgment here, we just wanna to try to save lives. You can go online and search up where to find Narcan. You can actually buy it on shelves in pharmacies. You don't have to have a prescription for it. You can have a prescription for it, but in many states, it's available if you just go in and enter your information, they'll send it to you. I got one in Oklahoma. You just go to a website called OK I'm Ready and you enter your address and information and they'll send it to you for free. Uh, there are also places where you can get them in vending machines for free. You can also get fentanyl test strips to test drugs to see if they have fentanyl in them. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is Narcan right here. If you should happen upon someone you think may have overdosed, it's time to act quickly because every second counts. In over 40% of opioid overdose deaths, there is another person present and that person could potentially save a life if they act. You're going to approach the person who is most likely lying on the ground. Shout first. You wanna make sure you're not just waking somebody up from a nap. Um, then shake their shoulders, see if you can arouse them that way. If not, do a sternal rub, which is where you take your knuckle and rub firmly on their sternum or their breastbone. That should wake up someone if they're just asleep. You can check their pupils and see if they are dilated. It's not an opioid overdose. Pinpoint pupils is what we're looking for. If they don't respond to any of that, then call 911 if you have your phone with you. Then, if you have your Narcan, get it. Get the person in a supported position. You wanna tilt their head back and support their neck, and then grab your device. I'm not gonna take this one out of the package, but you can see this part goes in the nostril, and this is the plunger. Don't test it or try to prime it before you use it. It's a one and done device. So you insert this in the nostril, and then firmly depress the plunger. It's the pink or red part there. Then you are going to roll the person onto their side in what we call the recovery position and put their arm over their side and if you can bend their knee a little bit just so that it will keep them in position. Then wait for 911 to arrive. If the person doesn't revive in two to three minutes, you can repeat this, roll them back on their back and do this same thing in their other nostril if you have a second device and wait for 911 to arrive. You may need to perform CPR until help arrives. You can also go to the National Harm Reduction Coalition website. They have a Narcan finder where you can find it either in pharmacies or vending machines so that you can locate Narcan to have on hand to help a friend or relative who may be in need. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.